supplies to help those victims of the Israel-Hamas war are also coming from right here in South Florida. With hospitals overwhelmed on the war front, they are in desperate need of medical supplies. Local 10's Rush Lowe continues our team coverage with the new help coming their way. Rush. Well, in the upcoming days and weeks, medical supplies will be critical in Israel. And one South Florida family is stepping up big time. As they told me today, saving one life it's like saving the world. It's beyond uh, important that all of us can see that people are so generous. It brings Miami Beach I doctor see. Ari Cement to tears when he speaks about, about the generous donation of the Wasserstein family. They have made a donation north of $200,000 to United Hatzalah. They are a volunteer emergency medical group that is helping the wounded on the front lines in Israel. You took north of $200,000 out of your pocket and sent it to Israel for an ambulance. Why? We love the state of Israel. We support Jews. They have donated an ambulance that will be a mobile intensive care unit. You can't put a price on Israel. You can't put a price on helping first responders. We urge all Jews, all Christians, all people of all faiths from around the world who watch this massacre to contribute and help the state of Israel. The Wassersteins were made aware of the urgent need in an Instagram post by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's son, Yair. I decided to dedicate my Instagram page for raising awareness. We value life. They value death. That is the difference. And look at this. If you pan around, you can look at all these people that have come here today. And this is just the beginning of you trying to help over there. It is the beginning, and we will continue to work hard, all of us, my beautiful family. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So many people like the Wasserstein's have jumped up at the opportunity, and we all need the support, and it's incredible. You saw there, this generous donation brought that doctor to tears, and it's not only the Wasserstein family. We're told by that doctor, who works at Mount Sinai Hospital here on Miami Beach, that Mount Sinai as well will be working with the state, coordinating with the state to send critical medical supplies to Israel. We're live on Miami Beach tonight. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. Rosh